treatment of medial meniscus posterior root tears, or MMPRT, in active individuals is an essential orthopedic technique. The direct suture anchor repair and the indirect transosseous or transtibial repair have evolved. Goals of surgery include anatomic reduction, meniscal preservation, and preservation of knee biomechanics and hoop stress. Meniscal root tears are soft tissue or bony avulsion injuries at the native meniscal insertion or a radial tear within one centimeter of its insertion. These injuries account for 10 to 20 percent of all meniscus tears, affecting nearly 100,000 patients annually. A medial meniscus posterior root tear exposes the tibiofemoral joint to supraphysiologic contact pressure, decreased contact area, and altered knee kinematics, similar to a total meniscectomy. Injury predisposes to exceedingly high rates of osteoarthritis and ultimately total knee arthroplasty. This is secondary to an inability to resist hoop stresses. Medial meniscus posterior root tear repair compared with non-operative management or partial meniscectomy has superior clinical outcomes, patient satisfaction, and significantly less osteoarthritis and arthroplasty progression. The arthroscopic transosseous repair can be performed safely, efficiently, and with excellent clinical outcomes. Indications include a symptomatic acute or chronic tear and lack of generalized osteoarthritis, such as kelgren lorentz or outer bridge grade 2 or less. Contraindications include degenerative pathology or subchondral collapse, consistent with outer bridge or kelgren lorentz grade 3 or 4, varus malalignment greater than or equal to 5 degrees, concomitant multiligament injuries or instability, and non-symptomatic chronic or degenerative tears. Relative contraindications include multiple comorbidities, advanced age, BMI greater than 30, and an inability to participate with a structured rehabilitation program. Transosseous repair of a medial meniscus posterior root tear involves native root footprint preparation, placing and passing sutures through a drilled transosseous tibial tunnel, and definitive fixation. This video will provide an overview of the key steps in this procedure.